Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan, and this is Two Minutes of Motion. There are times when an application requires limits to be placed on torque, velocity, position, or acceleration. Workbench allows these limits to be set up in one screen for global use. In the limit screen, the first available limit is current. Remember that current is torque, so this can also be thought of as a torque limit. Both positive and negative are available because some applications require this asymmetrical limiting to take place. The negative current limit requires a sign to prevent an error when entering the value. The velocity limit also has positive and negative limits available, and a sign for negative must also be respected. The limits do not require them to be at the same value and can be asymmetrical. The overspeed limit can be set to the point at which it will fault. Position limits are also called software limits or soft limits. These are used inside the hardware limits and can be used to limit the positive and negative travel. The limits do not become active until the drive has been homed. If there is a limit encountered, the drive will issue either a warning 107 positive limit encountered or warning 108 negative limit encountered. Also available is maximum position error. This will set the maximum error that can occur between the command position and the actual position. If this is set to zero, the position error will be ignored. And this is set too low, nuisance errors can occur during XL and decel. Acceleration limits include both the acceleration and deceleration of the drive. Again, the two do not need to be symmetrical as some applications require different limits. You will want to keep in mind that the limit screen is available in all AKD configurations, including the AKD Basic. So the AKD Basic will have to be programmed accordingly. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. I'll see you in the next segment.